always loved them as a kid, but who doesn't love bubbles at any age? Machination Station certainly does love them. And Sarah is here this morning with a giant, and we're hoping a giant bubble experiment. Sarah. Take it away. All right, so we are going to make bubbles. I know that we're trying to savor like the last few days of summer before school starts. So this is a great at home activity and I'm going to teach you how to make some awesome bubble solution. All right, like this Just, simple ingredients. Yep, okay. stuff you probably have around home. Um, we're going to start with distilled water and the reason we use distilled is because it doesn't have any minerals floating around in it. So we'll have nice clean bubbles. Okay, we're going to use some Dawn dish soap. So I want to, we won't even measure it, right? It's an experiment. So we'll put some soap in there. And then our secret ingredient, which makes our bubbles a little sturdier, is actually glycerin, okay? Now you can find this in like the cosmetic aisle at the grocery store. And glycerin adds a kind of a protective layer to our bubbles because otherwise it's just soap and water. And we know that water evaporates really, really quickly. So think about if you were to wipe down your countertop, right. how quickly. Right, within a couple minutes yeah. it could be dry, sure. All right. Especially when it's just a very thin layer of water or whatever, it could evaporate quickly. Right. Gotcha. So that's kind of like our secret ingredient. And um, at Imagination Station, we actually use something even a little stronger called polyethylene oxide. Okay. Or polyox for short. This okay. is the at-home version though. Yeah, okay. and polyox you can find on the internet. You can order it just about anywhere. Um, but like I said, next to it's an experiment, so anything that you have around home, kind of mix it together and see what you get. But let's see how our bubble solution turns out, okay? So go ahead and pick up your wand, see if you can get a really good bubble. Oh, Ooh. Well, You can good. see these bubbles are a little heavier than maybe the stuff you buy at the store, but that makes them nice and sturdy. All right. I could see how the kids could be amused by this. Right, you could spend all day trying to make bubbles. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good one? Yeah. So it's kind of, the trick is if you give it like a 90 degree twist, that kind of pulls it off of your bubble wand. I'm like a child, I need to learn this right. all over again. Why don't you try your, <sighs> try to make a square bubble. A square bubble? Yeah, you asked me if you could use that. So see if you can make a square bubble. Can, and this, can this work? That's a good question. <laughs> so it's kind of a trick because we could have all these really cool shaped bubble contraptions, but really a bubble will always be a circle because it uses the least amount of energy to contain that shape. So no matter the shape, it will come out as a circle. Yep, and actually if you notice on my bubble wand, I've actually modified it a little bit and I wrapped string around the outer edge because it lets us pick up more bubble solution. Ah. Doesn't dry off as quickly. All right, so this is like all fun and good, right? We could do this forever, but what if we make a ginormous bubble and I let you Let's do it. Put me inside of it. Really? Yeah. Will you float away? I hope not. All right, let's give it a try. All right. So we have our same bubble solution in our pool. So I'm going to stand in here. Hope you don't drown me. <laughs> All right. So same thing. We're using a hula hoop to make our bubble wand. And we've wrapped string around it. All right. So whenever ready? you're ready. Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> Pretty cool. So cool. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Uh, again. All now, right. I, 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 I noticed why you volunteered to do this. <laughs> right, not just me. don't mess up my hair Boy, today. that was that was very kind of you. <laughs> All right, one more time. Okay, here. go for it. Three, two, one. Whoa. All right. Not bad. And you can see like the little bit of extra stuff is actually that glycerin because it makes our bubble a little sturdier. That's pretty cool, right? Very cool. Do you want to be in the bubble? Uh, why not? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm up for it. All right. While you're doing this, tell me what's happening at the Imagination Station. All right. Well, this Saturday, we're actually reopening our simulator. It kind of got a facelift recently. We have a brand new movie, so it's a whole new experience for families to check out. Oh, see, you are better. Th oh, good. <laughs> you're better this th than I am. All right. Let's try one more time. There you go. Got you in most of the way. You didn't enclose me in the bubble, I though. I didn't. I didn't want you to suffocate. Ugh, I dare not to get you. I got the goopy part. <laughs> Very cool, though. So you guys are going to be reactivating the uh, simulator. So uh, yes. Imagination Station, you guys are open Saturday. $2 per ride, and members can ride free on that one. Always fun to be talking about yep. science and, of course, bubbles with the Imagination Station. Sarah, right. thank you so much. Stay with us. We will have more WTO 11 your day when we come back.